that's worked under him for five years. Exactly. He's ran off over 700 teachers, but I want to tell you what I'm going to do. Mainly, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell him that our students are not getting what they need. They're being tested and tested, and they're not comprehending it. And they have to keep testing it until they get above a certain score, or we've been taught Sorry, I still consider myself as a teacher. We've been taught how to smooth their scores up. I've actually had principals that have asked me, and he's told me I'm one of his best teachers, but please cheat. Please be sure they all get high and green. It's gotta stop. There are teachers that I've talked to today that could not worship because they were home learning new material from night <laughs> that we didn't, they haven't even seen yet, and they're supposed to be teaching it. I had a teacher here earlier today. She taught home ec. They've done away with home ec. So she's teaching science, math, green power. It was five different things. They just gave it to her. She's flying by the seat of her pants. Just like all the new teachers that are there, and it's not their fault. When you're new, you need a mentor. There's not hardly any mentors left. And the ones that are left are being bombarded. I left a team, in the, um, and there's only one teacher left. She's been there since my school opened. She knows her stuff, but she has three brand new teachers. She says she can't do her work for doing their work, and it's not their fault. And then she can't do hers because she has to help them for their lessons tomorrow. It's happening over and over. And then there's new teachers who have heard and they don't want to come into our school system, which breaks my heart, because I've been in it since I was five years old and I'm 55, and I love it. I mean, it's, it's in me, it's passion, it's not another job. I gave up my job that I love. I gave up my pension. Teachers get paid the rest of their life. Not much, but a little. I don't. I don't have any of that. And I'm going to sell houses after this election. And then two days a month, I'm gonna sit on that school board and I'm gonna be one of the bosses. Right. Yes. We don't have one boss, we yes, have five. And three of them, they'll just have to deal with Michelle and I. That's right. Because we ain't gonna shut up. And that's why they're spreading stuff that we're gonna ignore because they're afraid. If you start making up stuff, you are fearful. Fearful. And I don't have fear. I don't have any fear because when you love something and you've given your life to it, you're gonna protect it with everything you have. And what they're afraid of is the truth. And all I'm gonna say ever is the truth. If, he, if, if they happen to say something that's the truth, I'll agree with it. And if they say something that benefits these beautiful children, I'll agree with it. But until they do, I know how to do this. Now please, please protect the children. Some of them aren't safe. Do I want it to be, do I want them to be have policemen and take our kids out like they've already taken one out in handcuffs at Grissom this year and we've only had three days? No, I don't want them to do that. That shot, the ones that are the rowdiest need us the most. Put them somewhere. Put them with an experienced teacher, God help us if there are any, that can help them in a smaller group and get some mentors in here. Big business isn't supporting me. You know what? They're not supporting your children either. Why don't they send their employees to mentor? Why do they just hand out money, thousands and thousands of dollars, to people that will nod their heads yes? Why don't they give them a day off with pay once a week and get in there and help the citizens and stakeholders of Huntsville City Schools? And if you work at any of those businesses, please tell them I said that and that I sent you. <laughs> about out of breath. The people that love me, I love you more. Win or lose, God told me to do this, and I've had a platform I would have never had. I actually believe I'm going to be sitting in that seat.